I guess we'll never know. Use star code CUTELY when buying Robux or Premium. Also check out Comfy Robux merch and In Real Life merch. Join the Discord server, link down below. Be on all of our social medias. Please like and subscribe and enjoy! Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you different ideas of what you can build on your Bloxburg plot. These are different ideas. Some of them are a little bit out there and some of them are a bit more normal. I'm not sure how many different ideas I have, but hopefully this sparks up some creativity and inspires you to build something new. So first, a really classic thing to build in your plot is of course a town. You can be really creative with it if you want it to be really cute or if you want it to be, I guess, kind of emo-ish. Um, you can add all different kinds of shops or different parks or houses. You can even make your own little people if you want. You can really make it your own. You can give the town a name. You can make different decals and it's really fun. It takes a lot of um, working and energy, of course, but the end result's usually really nice. Different houses you can make is a townhouse, of course. If you don't know what a townhouse is, it's usually one big house where two families live together in it, but there's like a wall separating in the middle. Like a hillside home, Usually right now it's spring and summer, so you might want to build a seaside house and in the winter and fall you might want to make a hillside one. Or maybe even a little cottage. You could also recreate different things from TV shows or movies like maybe recreating the cottage from Snow White. Or maybe a little Christmas store from like Elf. Or maybe even a hair salon from Legally Blonde. You can make it your own, or maybe you could even make your own town or house. The next thing I think is really creative, you should definitely go for it, a box. Boxes are very nice. You can maybe recreate the Bloxburg one if you want, or, you know, I'm just joking. <laughs> but if you're ever bored, just building random things can be really fun. Next is, Building a number, like for example, YouTubers build 100k for 100k subscribers, or just a number that means something to you. It does, your whole plot doesn't just have to be that number, you could add it in front of your house. Next is a Christmas plot, like a gingerbread house, or depending on the season, you can do a Halloween house, like a little pumpkin patch, or maybe a water park, those can be really fun and you can invite the whole server to play with you or maybe do hide and seek. Another idea is making a little mini restaurant, like a little box. Just put a roof on top, maybe some picnic tables and invite the whole server, make some food, kind of like a barbecue cookout. Or maybe you can even make a little food truck or a little soup kitchen. It helps out other players for getting cheaper free food. And it's also really nice. Now, going back to the house, different themes you can do is a little blush house or maybe even a neutral or monotone house. You can make a mansion or you can even make a really simple minimalist house. Make sure to try out different vibes and colors so you can find out what you like, but it also switches up your house a little bit. You can also recreate or upcycle different old Boxwork houses like your, like your starter house. You can make it your own or you can add on to it. I did that at first and it was really nice. You can recreate your own bedroom. Um, if you don't like your bedroom, then maybe you can use it as an idea of how whenever you want to renovate your real life bedroom, you can use your Bloxburg one as an idea. If you really want to go the extra mile and you're actually really bored, build your face. You could do your real Bloxburg face that you have in game, or you could do your real life one. Whatever suits your taste. You could also make a TikTok house, like Hype House, if you're into that. You can also build pets. You can add it in your home, or if you want to make a cat cafe, 
Or maybe if you, even if you want to make a dog park, I bet that'd be super cute. You can also make different cafes, like a bubble tea shop, a bookstore with a coffee shop. Any of those are really cute ideas. Another is a really cute little street bakery, like a corner street bakery. Or maybe go with another style if you're into that. Tons of people make grocery stores or malls. They add in their little shops or different foods they can make their own. Or Boxburg is constantly adding new different foods. You can even have your own little bakery in the grocery store, like a little deli. Adding in little shops would be super fun. You can dedicate different shops to your friends if they help you. Another is a salon, whether it's a really big beauty salon, a nail salon, hair salon. You can base it off of Bloxburg one, which is not that nice, so I think you should go for your own. But it can be really cute and creative. Like I said earlier, you can also recreate a hair salon from Legally Blonde. That'd be super cute and it'd be iconic. You can also make your own little hotel and um, server members can join in. You, they can pay you. You can have different stuff that you pay for each night, like 1000 for one night, 2000 for two nights. That might be too much. But it's just an idea, an example. You can make your own little dorms or sleepover huts. One time we just made a little square and it was just like a little sleepover thing. It was really cute and it was actually really fun. You can make your own little tower or shrine too. Towers add to your plot. It gives a little bit dimension. You can even make a secret base since now. Bloxburg added basements a little while ago. You make sure to use, make sure to utilize different updates and everything. It also ties into the different seasonal homes. Like when we have Christmas updates, we we have all the Christmas trees, and we have the snow. Or during Halloween, we have pumpkins. Another idea is a college. You can also add in a dorm there, or your own little school because we know we just use the town hall for a school, and you know we need something better. Bloxburg doesn't have one yet, but while we wait, you can make your own. Like I said earlier, you can make your own little restaurant. It could tie into the hotel. You can even tie it into the grocery store. It can be a little pizzeria or really anything that comes into your mind. You can also make a really nice smoothie shop or froyo shop, maybe an ice cream parlor. For the summer, a classic little lemonade stand would be really adorable and very fitting. Next is, is a McDonald's. I've seen a bunch of people make them or any type of fast food like Chick-fil-A or really anything you like. Also making a campsite. Those are really fun and inviting the server is fun. I know Bloxburg has one but it's really far and it's kind of small and I think you making your own maybe even adding a little lake would be really nice. Now lakes or oceans or maybe even like a small little pool or water park water or bodies of water really add to your plot and it's really nice you could even host your own little pool party or like a barbecue with the whole server you can even make your own boat that'd be really fun more into role play things you can make a daycare you can make a hospital you can even make a preschool or making an, I thought of this, making your own art exhibit or museum. It would be really cool. And just imagine if you went the extra mile and made your own decals and adding in your actual art. Like how amazing would that be? It'd be super fun. And I think you'll get a lot of attention. And maybe people would donate to you on Bloxburg. Like, you know, that's how some artists make money. I think it'd be really fun and, you know, really good for role play too. And honestly, getting feedback, I know some artists, you know, they want to improve and everything. So I think that would help. Those are just some ideas I had. Um, you can also comment your own ideas. I'm sure some people would love to see yours and hope you enjoyed the video.